Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me. Hope you're all well. Hello Sky. Yeah, and I hope you're all having a nice Christmas Eve as well when you're watching it. So yeah, just pulled over for a quick coffee. I had to check some uploads as well. They're all doing fine. Right. Who's gonna let me out? Oh nice one. Oh, you were letting me out, mate. Off to a great start. Can't change your mind. Delivering Christmas gifts, mate. Hopefully we won't be late for this one. No, we shouldn't be. Don't know why that happened. Maybe I slept by accident or something, I don't know. I have a habit of doing that. Sixty grand. Doing all right. Now we'll be able to buy another truck soon. How much does this job bring in? Jesus. <laughs> TR5? I can't remember. Makes me want to get my still MS261 with its 18 inch bar. Come to America, cut down a load of trees, make a log cabin, and then die in the woods. Perfect. I love my chainsaw. It's so loud. It's a little bit modified. It revs to about 30,000. It doesn't, obviously, but it revs high. And yeah, it's lethal. But I am good with it. I haven't used it for months. done either. I didn't see how much money he bought in. Oh, I think it was three grand. Because that was about 60, wasn't it? Yeah, the mod for that bus, there is one, but it's not very good quality, unfortunately. Keep right 
and then continue straight on. So that can be a viewpoint. It's usually unlocked by now, isn't it? Go straight on. I suppose we could get fuel, can we? We're here, so we might as well. Wait. Right, I'm just going to quickly pause it and close the curtains because the sun's right in my eyes. Back in a moment. Right, sorry about that. That was blinding me. Right. What's all that then? straight on it's not really is it oh yeah it is okay it's pretty cool little town Get ready to turn right. Okay. Yeah, I'll go and live on the top of that. Turn right. Right, I think I've discovered something. So the miss shifts might actually be because of the USB hub. Go straight on. So uh, yeah, maybe I need to put different inputs into that. Going for it, aren't we? Slow it down a bit. Meant to be a relaxing drive.
I was thinking the other day about the games that I used to play years ago and how amazing I thought they were even though looking at them now they're crap like the graphics and uh, yeah, like looking at this now it's difficult to imagine how good games will be in the future nice because I know like this isn't perfect but it really is um, like you, you get involved in it, you get really into it it's like when I was filming an episode yesterday I lost control of a lorry and um, yeah I won't go into too much detail but I was actually scared I was panicking trying to get control back of the lorry and um, yeah and then I suddenly thought it's a game but it's like when someone pulls out of the services or something in front of you and you react like you would in real life especially with um, track AI you quickly do mirror checks and yeah think about evasive or doing an emergency stop so in the future when games are even better because obviously that's going to happen it will be even more immersive Covering the map. Go straight on. Yeah, because one of the first games I really got into was called Porsche Unleashed or something. And uh, that seemed so realistic. And I used to, yeah, when I was playing it, I'd just be completely absorbed. And everything going on in the room around me was just gone. All I could see was the screen. And um, yeah, and I bought a yeah steering wheel, two pedal thing, about fifty quid or something. Absolutely loved it. I was only young. But yeah, looking back at that game now, it's terrible. But obviously, that was. Uh, no, 20 something years ago so I think in another 20 years I'll still be playing computer games <laughs> virtual reality would be good but obviously you can't see the controls and keyboard so you're limited to yeah kind of like um a console controller but built into the sticks and this hands could be incorporated with a camera and then you could literally be holding the steering wheel and uh, yeah pressing buttons everywhere it's going to be immense so
ready to turn left. Sorry if anyone can hear that in the background, there's a really low flying plane. This is on here. No, I think turn it's left. I live. bit difficult, isn't it? I love um, games with massive um, maps and obviously in the future the maps will be incredible yeah games like this you'll be able to just drive all over the world maybe even at a one-to-one -one scale how brilliant would that be doing a delivery up the road from where you live being able to drive past your house yeah, the possibilities are just endless Yeah, I need to change that USB. Right, there's a question mark over there, so let's go and see what that is. It's probably a truck dealer. I'm going for it. I probably could have seen it from the road as well. Where am I going up here then? Make a U-turn when possible. Yeah, it can get a little bit weird though, because um, yeah, it's a Western Sardina. Yeah, years ago I watched this um, documentary. I, I think it was um, pretend. Yeah, it wasn't um, 100% real. I didn't know where to go. But um, yeah, it was saying about people who didn't have time for real girlfriends okay. or partners Let's find a new route. so they were getting virtual ones and yeah that's um that's the end of humanity isn't it Yeah, if you think about drones though, military drones, they're um, flown by pilots in little containers. So, uh, yeah, maybe in the future, lorries won't be as we know them now. And they'll kind of be driverless, so, yeah, a lot of the time maybe they'll be um, autonomous. And then when it comes to driving through smaller bases or actually parking up maybe that will be done by yeah remote obviously no time soon but possible in the future
try and have a sip of coffee. Cheers, everyone. Don't drink drive. If only I had a Tesla Semi, I'd be able to get four of them and accelerate up this hill even more so. I still think it's all broken, the numbers and everything, I think it doesn't work. Yeah, the low capacity of it just doesn't quite make sense and I'm not the only one that thinks it so yeah there's a YouTube channel called Thunderfoot and um, yeah he's uh, he's got the same ideas as me it's not going to be able to have much cargo on it because the batteries weigh so much so it's going to be extremely restricted maybe between 5 and 10 tonne fully loaded Why do you need to be able to do 0 to 60 in 5 seconds in a bloody truck? <laughs> what would be the point? And who's going to trust their drivers with a Tesla? hours to go. I'm going to live in there. I wonder how long you could get away with it as well. That's the thing, in the UK, you could get away with it for a little while, but you'd eventually be discovered by a dog walker or something. And you'd get in loads of trouble. Obviously that's because we're quite, a, well, we're a tiny country. Go straight on. And buying land as well is so expensive, buying woodland. I looked into it years ago. And I'm sure it's gone up even more now. But you can't get planning permission. Even if you built something completely off-grid, all safe, with all regulations that no one could see and it didn't affect anyone yeah solar panelled and yeah, bore holes or whatever yeah you just can't can't do it even though it's your land I wouldn't want to destroy a forest, I'd yeah, want to look after it. I've worked in ancient woodlands for years, like making sure that they're sustained, cutting out all the dead wood and yeah, making sure the species have the best chance and wildlife as well. So I wouldn't destroy it, I'd take care of it, but yeah, I haven't got the option. And lots of our ancient woodland in the UK are dying off people buy them rich usually rich people buy them with some romantic dream of yeah, making product out of it and then they realize they can't do it 
and then it goes to the next owner who does exactly the same a few owners paths and yeah the woodland's just killing itself off because it's not being maintained And a lot of anger and rage is uh, directed at Brazil. Well, every country is destroying Go their weapons. It's in different ways. What are you doing? Get ready to yeah, there's some kind of loophole in the UK where if you build a property somewhere and um, you keep it hidden for a certain amount of years, they can't destroy it. But knowing my luck, I'd get caught. And then all, all the money that you've invested is just gone. It's kind of like squatters, right? It's, if you live in a place for long enough, you kind of, um, yeah get a piece of it. Go straight on. Yeah, when I had my gardening business years ago, there was um, not too far away from where I lived, there was this mansion that used to be a chapel. And um, yeah, it was abandoned. So it was all smashed up. It was all overgrown as well. That's why I noticed it. And uh, yeah, so I stopped one day and I went and had a quick word with the neighbours and asked whether they knew anything about it, whether they knew the owners or anything. And uh, yeah, one of them said that about once every year and a half, someone comes down and walks around it. But um, I'd actually. Uh, jumped over one of the fences to have a look round and there were signs of activity like drug use and uh, and also like alcohol you know cans of beer and stuff just littered about one day that place is going to get burnt down and no one's using it and it's a bloody chapel so it's obviously got some significance But yeah, there's loads of places like that in the UK. Old council buildings as well. Just left. And then we've got homeless people. People like sofa surfing. But we've got all these massive buildings that aren't being used. Okay. I can have a sip of coffee in there. I don't know why I'm signaling. Rerouting.
Right, so I'm just going to abandon it here for a moment and I'm going to have a coffee. So thanks for joining me everyone and yeah, fingers crossed. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.